I'm News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos. Thank you for heading on to ClickOrlando.com powered by News 6. All eyes remain on Hurricane Irma as it continues to strengthen. You can see it here on the satellite imagery, a textbook major category 4 system with a very pronounced eye. The center completely engulfed in that red shade, indicating a lot of deep tropical moisture. And for that reason, the National Hurricane Center has now increased the status to a category 4 system with winds of upwards of 130 miles per hour. This is the latest as of the 5 p.m. advisory. It's continuing to move very quickly towards the west at about 13 miles per hour and pressure continues to decrease, indicating that some strengthening will be possible over the next couple of hours. Here is the official forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. I know all eyes now will come by Friday into Saturday. You can see the forecast cone. It extends outward about 400 miles, so there is still plenty of uncertainty when it comes to the system by the time the weekend rolls around. But you can see parts of South Florida will remain under the cone of concern until the next advisory. We are awaiting the next advisory at 8 o'clock this evening and 11 o'clock this evening as well. But again, we still have plenty of time to watch it, but it is something that we will certainly have to watch here in Central Florida. The main reason for the disagreement is because models cannot still can't hold a very good grasp of what it's going on after about day five. You can see it's pretty good in agreement until it hits about the Bahamas. And after that, it starts to fan out some some of them taking it straight over Cuba, some even giving it a quick turn straight towards towards the north into South Florida. So again, this will be something we'll have to keep our eyes on. And then big factor will be this front. Depending on the timing as it makes its way into Florida, it will really give us a better idea of what's going to be the official track when it comes to Irma. So plenty of factors to play here. But the one thing that we're for sure of is that it will maintain very strong major category status. As we look here, timing of that front again is going to be crucial, but because that is uncertain in itself, the exact track will remain uncertain. So what you can do at home right now is of course staying informed and being prepared, knowing your hurricane plans, making sure you have that water, the batteries, you name it, you know how it goes there as we peak the hurricane season in just a couple of days. So for tonight back here at home, we're dealing with plenty of activity on the radar. Most of it will die out throughout the overnight hours as storms will be lingering. By tomorrow, rinse and repeat that weather forecast. Another summer-like pattern with highs running above average at about 94 degrees. Now let's check on your hour. I should say your full seven-day forecast. You can see that temperatures are going to be staying in the mid to low 90s with a chance of rain at 50 to 60. But again, all eyes will remain on Irma, especially as we head into the weekend. That's your seven-day forecast. Make it a great evening.